I am Anthony from HashesNet, and today we're looking at the Power Core Combiners Constructicons. And you're probably like, wait, these aren't the Constructicons. Well, the fact is, in 2010, uh, Transformers decided to release uh, cheaper alternate versions of combiners in a gimmick that basically gives them a retail value around $20. And um, in this case, this was the Constructicons. So the gimmick is that you have one main transformer, in this case, Steam Hammer, and then you have four drones, uh, in this case, the, the, um, the front end loader, the steam roller, the uh, drill, and the plow, and then they become the limbs on the combiner, which isn't technically, you know, the big guy but uh an, an apparent up form of of uh, steam hammer so put these inside i'll show you the box so it's just a, a picture of the combiner on the side and then if you remember those classic boxes with the stats there's some stats there unimportant really and then here is what the whole combiner looks like and uh he, he's probably i don't know six inches tall at most so he's not huge but uh, again, it shows you where the parts go in comparison to the combiner itself. Uh, the, you can kind of mix and match, um, but it's not really that great. But uh, as you see in the box, there's the instructions and uh, not much more to it. Although I did save the backing. So we're going to put uh, Steam Hammer here and we're going to uh, take a look at him. He has this weird little hat. A head it looks like he has a bag on top. It's weird. And then uh, here's his back, and you can see the combiner head on the back of the shovel. And he got his little claws, and uh, I mean, he's straightforward, nothing too fancy going on here. And he's not too complicated to transform either. So let, let's start by folding up the feet and uh, moving the little connector bits down. And then we're, what we're going to try to do is his hands are both one half of the cab so it makes things a little bit interesting now the goal is to and i'll show you if i can get the yeah there you go get the back off his head's supposed to go down and there's supposed to be a little area back here uh, a little knobby that you would push back up to put his head back uh but uh, his head's being difficult uh, i think it's slightly off oh almost got it there we go okay so don't turn his head if you want to push it down so we got that down and now we're going to try to move his arms out of the way uh so here we can pull the arms off the sides there and uh you can, again you can see the head of the combiner and it, that kind of just needs to stay out of the way while we're trying to do the vehicle mode here and um I'm trying to remember what the next step here is. I I know these arms have to go together, so we're gonna bend them about 90 degrees. And uh, oops, popped up. It's just if that happens, just pop it back on. It's not that difficult. Uh, but anyway, back to trying to combine the two uh, the forky bits here. Okay, so now we take the arms and we pull them in and we could grab the other arm and I, I think I kind of have an idea what I'm going for here but let's do the cab first so there's a tab and a hole you just bunch them together here and uh, there we go and then we got to position the legs in a way where they tab into the top of the cab or the bottom of the cab there and I think there's some type of bending and it, I mean, it might be easier if we just connect them to the cab, and uh, and then we go, okay. So there's a place on the thighs where you're supposed to snap it in, and uh, once we get that done, everything is fairly even up, and you can hear the audible click. Oh, it popped out there. Oops. Okay, there we go. Back in back in play, and then you put the shovel down. It snaps into place. Then you got to rotate these. Well, technically the other half of the treads, uh, rotate them around, and then they snap into place uh, a lot on uh, connecting the other treads. But there's wheels on the bottom, so they're actually now non-functional treads. And uh, that's that's more or less it. 
Uh, putting these down will block the way you travel, so don't put down the little hooks. But there you go. It, it rides easy. It's, it's pretty good looking. I, I actually think it's fantastic. But then uh, here are the other, here are the drones. You can see them together, uh, size comparison wise. So, of course, again, you have the drill, the front end loader, a steamroller, and a plow. So now we're going to try to build the core uh, for the combiner. And we start by detaching the treads. And uh, as you see the helmet up there, so we want to rotate this stuff around. And uh, it's going to basically stay out of the way. It's supposed to kind of like wings or something. I don't know. But it looks kind of cool. You'll see in a moment. So we got that front up. And then we got to detach the, the arms and get them out of the way. And then the legs... Uh, they're, you keep them semi-attached to the side as they are, and they pretty much just go straight down. And then we're going to detach the arms and then swing them behind the body. Uh, they're a little tightly pegged. There we go. Okay, so go ahead, and we're going to swing those around. There we go. And once we do that, we put the shovel... It just it clicks into place there in the chest, and uh, we're pretty much that is it uh, for the core bit of it, and uh, I think it is pretty nifty right there. So then, the the thing is that when you go to combine the other pieces, you kind of have to uh, cheat at it a little bit. I'm going to put the box here so I can see who combines where. Um, now, again, you could flip the arms around and the legs around, but you really can't flip the legs with the arms. That's uh, just the way it is. But I have set everything up where I can find the pieces and where they go um, because, like, thumbs flip and stuff like that. So I like, I like the way the box says. So we're going to combine things. Now, uh, there's a little bit of cheat here. Uh, because it's easier to do this this way, you gotta kind of get the pieces to form the the correct configuration. Because you just want to slide the little blue peg in. Uh, if you don't, it's a lot more difficult. It's something I learned with the Dinobot combiner that I have from the same series. So we'll, we'll start pulling down pieces and getting it to form into feet and hands. And uh, see, as you see, the opening over there is where the peg goes, and. Uh, real easy he's already halfway done now we're going to take uh, the uh, driller and uh, he makes a hand is a very long arm uh, but uh, we're going to peg him in and then we're going to take the front end loader who is even a longer arm and we're going to put him in but first we got to pull him apart and as you see what happens is a super long arm and peg him in and uh, that is, that is, his arms are irregularly sized, um, but uh, like he has fingers on one side and, a, and a, like a shovel on the other side. And as you, as you see, it all pretty much works. And they're not all the same color. So I really like that over the regular Constructicons. But then here's the view from the back. And uh, I mean, nothing fantastic. You got a lot of the extra bits just sitting back there. And then, of course, you just it, you want, because I, I think he looks cool. And that is Paracore Combiner Constructicons uh, featuring Commander Steamhammer. Now, let me know what you think about the Paracore Combiners in the comments. And uh, I'm fidgeting with them a little too. Uh, there we go. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledgenet and our website at hasledge.net.